South Korea's trade troubles. A look at the numbers. South Korea, a global economic powerhouse, is facing headwinds. The nation, known for its rapid industrialization and technological advancements, is now grappling with significant trade challenges. Early trade data for this month paints a concerning picture. Analysts have noted a marked decline in export volumes, which is unusual for a country that has consistently shown robust trade figures. The nation's export growth has slowed down considerably. This deceleration is not just a blip, but part of a worrying trend that has been observed over the past few months. This slowdown, if it persists, could have significant implications for the global economy. South Korea's trade activities are deeply intertwined with global supply chains, and any disruption here can have a cascading effect worldwide. South Korea is a bellwether for international trade. Its performance often serves as an early indicator of global economic health. Its economic performance often foreshadows broader trends. When South Korea's trade numbers dip, it often signals potential slowdowns in other major economies. South Korea's economy is heavily reliant on exports. The country has built its economic success on the back of its export-oriented industries. It is a major supplier of electronics, automobiles and high-tech goods to the world. These sectors are critical, not just for South Korea, but for the global market and petrochemicals to the world. The petrochemical industry, in particular, plays a vital role in various manufacturing processes globally. Any weakness in its export sector sends ripples through global supply chains. Disruptions here can lead to delays and increased costs for businesses around the world. This makes it crucial to understand the factors driving the current slowdown. Analysts are closely monitoring various indicators, from geopolitical tensions to shifts in global demand to pinpoint the root causes. The South Korean government is also taking steps to address these challenges. Policy measures are being considered to boost trade and support key industries. Innovation and diversification are seen as potential solutions. By investing in new technologies and exploring new markets, South Korea aims to mitigate the impact of the current trade slowdown. International cooperation will also be key. Strengthening trade agreements and fostering partnerships with other nations can help stabilize South Korea's trade outlook. Despite the challenges, South Korea's resilience and adaptability give hope. The nation has overcome economic hurdles before and is well positioned to navigate the current storm. The most recent trade figures show a decline in exports compared to the previous month. This trend is alarming as it marks the third consecutive month of falling export numbers, raising concerns among economists and policymakers alike. This decline is particularly pronounced in key sectors like oil products and mobile phones. These sectors have traditionally been the backbone of South Korea's export economy, contributing significantly to the nation's GDP. The drop in oil product exports is concerning. South Korea has invested heavily in its oil refining capabilities, and a sustained decline could have far-reaching implications for the industry and the broader economy. It suggests weakening demand from major economies. Countries that have been key importers of South Korean oil products are now reducing their orders, possibly due to their own economic challenges or shifts towards alternative energy sources. This could be an early indicator of a global economic slowdown. If major economies are cutting back on imports, it could signal broader issues in the global market, affecting not just South Korea, but other exporting nations as well. The mobile phone sector, once a major driver of South Korea's export growth, is also facing challenges. The rapid pace of technological advancement means that companies must constantly innovate to stay competitive. Increased competition from Chinese manufacturers is putting pressure on South Korean companies. Chinese firms are not only producing high-quality products but are also able to offer them at lower prices, making it difficult for South Korean companies to maintain their market share. 
This highlights the need for South Korean firms to innovate and move up the value chain. By focusing on cutting-edge technology and unique product offerings, South Korean companies can differentiate themselves from their competitors and capture new market opportunities. Investing in research and development, fostering a culture of innovation, and exploring new markets will be crucial for sustaining long-term growth in the face of these challenges. The decline in oil product exports is partly attributed to falling oil prices. Over the past few years, the global oil market has faced significant challenges. Prices have been on a downward trend due to various factors, including increased production and a shift towards renewable energy sources. This has led to a surplus in supply, further driving prices down. However, the decline in export volume is more concerning. It's not just about the prices, it's about the reduced demand for oil products globally. Countries that were once major importers are now looking for alternative energy solutions, reducing their dependency on oil. It indicates a deeper slowdown in demand. This trend is reflective of broader economic shifts. As nations push for greener policies and technologies, the traditional oil sector is feeling the pinch. The slowdown in global trade further exacerbates the issue, with fewer goods being transported and less fuel being consumed. This is particularly worrisome as major economies are still recovering from the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has left a lasting impact on global economies. Many industries are still trying to bounce back, and the oil sector's struggles add another layer of complexity to the recovery process. The mobile phone sector is grappling with its own set of challenges. With rapid technological advancements, companies are under constant pressure to innovate and stay ahead of the competition. The market is saturated, and consumers are becoming more selective with their purchases. Chinese companies with their aggressive pricing strategies are rapidly gaining market share. Their ability to produce high-quality devices at lower costs has disrupted the market. This aggressive approach has made it difficult for other players to maintain their foothold. This is forcing South Korean companies to reevaluate their strategies. They are now focusing on differentiating themselves through unique features and superior technology. The competition is fierce and only those who can adapt quickly will thrive. They need to focus on high-end products and innovative technologies to stay competitive. By investing in research and development, South Korean companies aim to lead the market with cutting-edge innovations. The future of the mobile phone sector will be shaped by those who can balance quality, innovation, and cost-effectiveness. Amidst the gloom, there is a silver lining. Semiconductor shipments, a crucial part of South Korea's export basket, have remained resilient. This is encouraging news as semiconductors are essential components for various industries. The global demand for semiconductors remains strong. This is driven by the growth of data centers, artificial intelligence, and other data-intensive technologies. South Korea, a leading semiconductor manufacturer, is well-positioned to benefit from this trend. Section 5. Unraveling the causes. What's behind the slowdown? Several factors contribute to South Korea's export slowdown. The global economic environment is increasingly uncertain. The war in Ukraine, rising inflation and supply chain disruptions are weighing on global growth. The slowdown in China, a major trading partner for South Korea, is another concern. China's economy is facing headwinds due to its zero-COVID policy and a property market downturn. This has implications for South Korea, given its close economic ties with China. Section 6. A ripple effect. Global implications of South Korea's trade slump. South Korea's trade slowdown has significant implications for the global economy. It is a reminder that the global recovery is fragile and uneven. The slowdown in South Korea's exports could signal a broader weakening of global demand. The global economy is interconnected. A slowdown in one part of the world can quickly spread to other regions. South Korea's trade data serves as a warning sign that policymakers worldwide need to be prepared for potential economic headwinds. Section 7 Navigating the Future, Possible Scenarios and Policy Options The future trajectory of South Korea's exports remains uncertain. Much depends on the global economic environment and policy responses from major economies. 
If global demand weakens further, 